Right, so let's start with um, the uh, process that we want to automate. Yeah, so um, I'll just go through it once. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have sign in to um, uh, to our CoinSpot account. And essentially what the process that I want to look at uh, to automate is this. So I'm just going to open up CoinSpot. Okay, I'm going to create a new macro. Discard the untitled one. And I'm going to call it CoinSpot. Okay, and then I'm going to click record. And essentially, this is where I'm coming, right? So I'm coming to this screen, uh, my main, my first screen. So I'm going to click refresh here. And then I'm going to click on wallets. This is my the flow of automation that I want to uh, automate. Yeah, so and I'm going to click on a coin, select a coin that I'm interested in. So say BNB. And then there's a button here that says open BNB wallet. Click on that. And now this is my BNB coin. Um, and then I want to do is click on the cell. And this is the price that I want to uh, pick up from this screen later. Now I'm not going to sell it. I just want to capture that current price, the current sell price. Yeah. Uh, and now I click cancel. I'm back to the screen where I started and that's it. And that is my automation. So let me stop my record. Okay. And a good way to, to try it is once you finish that, okay, let's just play it back and see if the script does what it originally recorded. Okay, looks like there's a bit of a problem here. It's not clicking the cell button. And that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so you see it's timeout looking for open BNB wallet. For some reason, um, the automation recorded um, open BNB wallet three times. So I'm going to just comment this out for now. I normally don't try to delete the, the, the steps unless, unless I know it's absolutely I don't need it. Okay, but it's gone. Yep. So these two steps are gone. Um, and I have this link text to sell, which is this one that I want to click. So I, what I can do is I can come in here and just say play from here. Okay, and you will essentially try to continue that script from there. And that's it. All right, so essentially my script is working, right? So let me just uh, uh, save it. Uh, it's already saved. Let me just try to play it one more time. And that's it. And that's it. The script is done. As you can see, UI vision here says it's done. Okay. All right. So now you can see that um, after I click the link to sell, um, I have to add a step to actually pick up that particular uh, price from the screen. Yeah. So how do I do that? So um, I come back here uh, if I play my script until this point where it actually clicks to sell okay play to this point on that so it starts okay and I click a step all right, so now it's on this particular page um, where I want to capture this price. Okay, so this is where I will stop the script for now. And then what I want to do is add a step. I click on this plus here, I add a step. Okay, and what I want to do in this step is to say store. Okay, and I want to store. Um, Um, I want to store the, sorry, store text, sorry, store text or store value, store text. Okay. I use store text. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, I'm going to select the object from the screen. So this is the object that I want to store. Okay. And then I'm going to store it into a variable called current cell price. Okay. And I want to save it now. And let's play this script again. Yeah. Let's go back to the dashboard. And let's play this macro again. Okay, and the macro is finished. And let's see if it managed to pick up the price. So if I actually go into variables, you can actually see that, hey, yep, um, it is actually uh, the, the script is working so it's actually able to capture go into my 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 bnb here uh, i go into my coin spot here look at bnb and capture the price okay and you save it in a variable um, but of course it's not as simple as that um, and, and that's what i'm going to cover in an, uh, in the next video which is how to take uh, this simple script that we have today uh, and then uh, uh, make it work on a list uh, of of coins that I I'm interested in. So in in this case, it's just BNB today, uh, but tomorrow I may I may want to have more than one coin. Um, how do I actually have uh, UI Vision record that uh, and, and read that and 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 give me information on that? But that's in my upcoming video. But to this is the beginning of our uh, tutorial. Um, where we really talk about setup and getting the initial idea of that automation going. So this is definitely getting more interesting. And if you like what you've seen today, please do click the subscribe button at the bottom of the video so that you can get notified when the next video is posted. Thank you.